Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. If you're new to my channel then first of all a big big welcome and thank you so much for watching. In case you are wondering what kind of content do I put out on my channel then you can expect one tech related video on every Wednesday of the week and one lifestyle or food related video on every Sunday of the week and since today is Sunday I'm going to be talking about food. Now generally we do enjoy going out on every weekend and trying out the different restaurants here in Kolkata, India. But this week, we decided to stay back home. Now, there are a couple of reasons as to why we decided to do that. Number one, because of the rising COVID cases here in West Bengal. And number two, I've had a minor injury in uh, one of my toes, so I just wanted to rest at home. Now, while we were doing that, it gave us an opportunity to try out an exclusive takeaway service from a place called Browns with love by the way they've got an amazing instagram page and i'm going to link their description in the description box should you decide to check them out and i would recommend that you do because you're going to be blown away with the pictures that they have on their instagram page now with that said since this is a food vlog as always i am going to be talking about the taste most definitely i'm going to be talking about the price the quantity and the overall presentation of all the things that we ordered for ourselves with that said Let's get started folks and find out all about Browns with Love. Let's go. So we got the uh, delivery from Browns with Love and it says here gourmet, catering, patisserie and also bakery. So we were really excited and keen to find out what they had in store for us. Now, but just to give you an idea about their packaging this is what their packaging looks like all right so we ordered ourselves you know a piece of different items from different parts of the world um, to begin with i ordered some chicken burritos from myself and this is from the land of mexico so you've got this chicken burrito i'm gonna slice it up and show you how it looks just in a moment now apart from that we also got ourselves a piece of thailand and uh this is your lemon leaf rice and this goes along with the thai curry which we have on the other hand so this is your red thai curry vegetarian red thai curry and uh, we specially mentioned that put in a lot of uh, uh, what do you call it chilies in there so that it becomes hot and spicy and apart from that we ordered ourselves some ali olio with meat chicken in this case along with some cherry tomatoes as you can see and uh, it looks fantastic and uh, also some cheese on top and uh, finally we got ourselves some vanilla custard filled donuts and uh, i can smell some cinnamon right off of it as soon as i open up the box as well and uh, this looks fantastic all right folks so it's quite a spread right in front of me and i'm interested to try out you know all these items so that's exactly what i'm gonna do Starting with the burrito. This was your chicken burrito. And uh, supposed to have some pulled chicken, some Mexican pulled chicken, and uh, also some rice inside of it. Now, I don't know if I've actually done justice to it by chopping off, you know, the burrito in a very bad way. But uh, I'm just gonna, you know, show it in front of the camera. You've got some rice, you've got some chicken here, and uh, some cilantro rice, as it says. So this is the first item that I'm gonna try out. Let's find out how it tastes. Hmm. Hmm. I would say the cilantro rice is very good. The chicken is well cooked. You have a nice uh, flavor in there. I can't really make out you know, what it is. But overall, the rice, the cilantro rice, that is, the, the chicken, it all comes together beautifully. Mm. I can taste a dash of, you know, something a little tangy. I don't know if it's lemon. 
but there's a tanginess you know in in the rice and the chicken and i think it adds to the overall flavor of the burrito i quite like it actually hmm so the burrito is really good i'm going to keep this aside and i'm now going to move over to the ali olio with some chicken there's some um, cherry tomatoes in here there are some olives that i can see and um, some cheese on top as well i'm just going to take a small little bite along with some chicken along with those olives and uh, let's find out how this tastes okay I think it's very good. The ali olio is is very good. The seasoning is perfect. It's not overdone. There's not a lot of seasoning in there. Some people, you know, tend to go overboard with the seasoning and it just spoils the taste. In this case, I believe perfect seasoning in there. The olives really add to the flavor and I personally am a fan of olives. And um you've got these um cherry tomatoes as well, which also adds to the overall taste. of the ali olio the cheese the cherry tomatoes the olives it all blends together beautifully and it gives you this fantastic taste in your mouth i don't know if they have used olive oil or not but hmm it's 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 really good so the ali olio is also i would say very good now finally going to move over to the veg thai curry Okay. Now by the way, this item is supposed to be very spicy because this was specially ordered for my wife. I'm just going to, you know, I mean try it before she gets to try it. So I'm just going to take a spoon of rice. Now, if you have seen my other videos, I particularly am not very fond of, you know, spicy food. Um but the only reason why i'm trying this out is for all you lovely folks so that you understand how it all tastes so i'm going to try out a base you could say a tiny portion on my plate and i'm just going to try out how it tastes i'm going to try out some mushrooms here wow wow this is nice by the way it's it's nice it's it's beautiful i think you know there's a good flavor of lemongrass in there there's red thai curry paste as well the mushrooms the vegetables i would say you know they've been cooked well i'm just going to try a broccoli as well because um i just want to make sure if they've been cooked properly mm yeah it's been cooked properly there's still that crunch in your broccoli i love you know crunchy vegetables in my curry i would say it's a little too hot for my preference because i'm not a fan of you know very hot or spicy food but if you do love hot or spicy food and if you want to try out something from the land of thailand then this is a fantastic curry to go along with along with some lemon leaf rice i think you know there's a good flavor in the rice mm it's quite nice it goes very good with the curry i mean very well with the curry now i personally have tried out you know i mean yellow curries and green curries as well and out of all the different colors of curries that you get in thailand i personally prefer the yellow curry um this don't get me wrong it's good to taste i mean it's fantastic it's delicious too hot and spicy for my preference all right so that's that's all i'm saying now finally i do want to take a bite of that donut to find out about it so i'm going to place everything aside Sorry about the mess. Just wanted to make sure that I'm trying out everything and giving you a feel of, you know, what it's all like. Okay, finally it's time for the donuts. Ah, oh, man. These donuts look really nice. Um, uh, they're not very big, by the way. I'm just going to place it in my hand just to show you the size of it. So in terms of size, it's not very big. Um Yeah, oh, I can smell the cinnamon powder on top of it. I love cinnamon. but anything overdone spoils the flavor of the food so it's all about balance when it comes to food um 
I can smell the cinnamon, there's uh, sprinkled or I mean there's powdered sugar sprinkled on top and there is vanilla custard inside this little thing here, the vanilla custard filled donut. I'm just gonna take a quick bite to find out how this tastes now. Here we go. Hmm, hmm. It's very nice. It's very good. The um, vanilla custard is very light. Sorry about it, you know. I, I don't think the camera will do this justice. It won't look as pretty as it as it looks in my hand. But um, I love light cinnamon flavor. Whether it's my um, cinnamon rolls, whether it's uh, donuts, or in fact even coffee. So I am a cinnamon fan, and I think you know they have this perfect balance of cinnamon along with vanilla. The vanilla flavor along with cinnamon, it's fantastic. I think it's so delicious. Mmm, mmm. Look at all that custard coming out of it. Wow. Mmm. And I would recommend that you have these donuts without refrigerating them, because um, when you refrigerate these donuts, you know, I mean, the the bun itself becomes hard, and I don't like that. Eat them while they are fresh. That is what I would suggest. These donuts are fantastic, by the way. The custard is light. The buns are so soft. And um, the vanilla and the cinnamon, it goes very well together. So I would highly recommend these donuts. And um, it's very delicious. All right, folks. So that brings us to the final thoughts. Now, before we get into that, just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that we've already covered the taste aspect. We've already covered the packaging aspect and the presentation aspect. And so far, in terms of taste, it is very good. In terms of the presentation, the packaging materials, the hygiene, it's all great. The level of ingredients, the quality of ingredients used, the freshness aspect, all of that, they are fantastic. Now, finally, let's talk about the price aspect as well and the price to value ratio. So in terms of the price, the overall price that we paid for everything that you saw in this video was 2,750 Indian rupees. Now, let me break that down for you. I have all the prices right in front of me. Number one, the chicken burrito, it cost us 600 rupees. Number two, the wedge red curry with the lemon leaf rice, it cost us 800 rupees. And finally, the spaghetti ali olio with the chicken cost us 600 rupees. It cost us 750 rupees for the five donuts, meaning that they cost us 150 rupees each. So what are my thoughts about the pricing and the price to call it not quality exactly, price to value ratio, let's say, because the quality aspect, it's great, it's fantastic. We've already established that. Now, in terms of the price to value ratio, I believe it uh, does not meet the expectations. I'll tell you why, you know, here are a couple of reasons why. Number one reason, it's the quantity. Now, although the quantity was adequate for us as a family, now we are all light eaters. Now, we don't eat one very heavy meal in the day. Rather, you know, we spread our meals and we eat every two hours. So that way, we were happy with the quantity. But I know, you know, there are other members in my family who are heavy eaters. And uh, for the heavy eaters, they would not be happy with this quantity. So the quantity, you could see in the video as well, but even when it comes to the lemon rice, right? The quantity was not that great. Uh, in terms of the price to value ratio, well, the donuts were 150 rupees each. They were adequately sized. I would have preferred that they were sized a little bit bigger than what it was. So that way, you know, I somehow feel it falls short or shy of that price to value ratio. Now, I have said this in my other videos as well, especially when I was uh, talking about the uh, patisserie by Francisca, that for all good things in life, you do have to pay a price. And if you're paying that price and if you're getting good stuff, then hey, you would not be disappointed. But if you're paying that price and if you're getting bad stuff, then of course you would, you know, complain. Now, in this case, the quality was good, the taste was delicious. So, in those areas, no complaints whatsoever. In case of, you know, being a heavy eater, you might be disappointed in terms of quantity. So, just wanted to give you a heads up. We, as light eaters, were happy with the quantity and we were more than happy, more than satisfied when it comes to the taste and the deliciousness factor of the food. The other thing that I do want to mention is uh, the fact that 
if you take a look at the menu, do not be alarmed by what you see on the menu in terms of the prices again. Now, the reason why I say that is because the prices that they have on the menu is for a portion which serves three people. All right. So as an example, if you see the Ali Olio priced at 1800 Indian rupees on their menu, that means it's going to serve three people. Now, today we had more like a custom order where we ordered each of these items for just one person. So if I've ordered the Ali Olio today, it was specifically for one person, not for three people. So it was more like a custom order, not an order, you know, going by the menu straight off. So wanted to give you that information as well. Now their catering concept is very, very uh, different because um, they like delivering things in bulk. Um, what I mean to say by that is, for instance, if you want just one piece of that donut that you saw in this video, if you wanted to order, let's say one piece of that donut, then I don't think it's going to be possible for them to be able to do that. Now you would at least have to order a minimum of five pieces of donut. Only then they will be able to meet or satisfy your requirement. So in case you want to order something off of their bakery, please do keep that in mind that you have to order at least four to five pieces for them to meet your requirements. So that is one thing to keep in mind when it comes to their menu. Otherwise, I think, you know, the quantity here was a little shy of, uh, you know, a heavy eater's expectation also because of the fact that we had customized this order for one person, which is not their standard way of delivering. Their standard way of delivering is delivering those large portions where those portions serve three people and it costs 1800 rupees. But since this is an honest opinion and an honest um, uh, experience uh, that I wanted to share with all of you, we just wanted to give you a heads up as to where the quantity aspect fits in, where the price to value ratio fits in. Now, if you were a heavy eater and if the quantity was slightly higher, even 1.3 times, I would say it would totally justify the price because the quality of the food, the produce used, the materials, the ingredients, they were all top notch. The olives in the Ali Olio, they were so delicious. I'm sure they had put in some olive oil as well. The seasoning was absolutely right. The spaghetti. I'm very particular about spaghetti and noodles. I've said this in my previous videos as well. If you overcook your spaghetti, then it becomes all mushy and it just doesn't taste well. But in this case, the spaghetti was cooked, you could say to perfection. It was well done and it had the right balance of all ingredients coming together. Even the burritos, you know, I mean, it had that nice tangy taste. It was very close to a, a to an actual Mahigan uh, burrito, you could say and it had all those ingredients like uh, tomatoes, onions, you could taste them in every bite. There was crunch in the onions, uh, uh, the, the tanginess of the lemon or the lime was in there and uh, the pulled chicken was also cooked very well. It was not rubbery or uh, stringy. Uh, everything was great when it comes to the burrito, a very nice light balanced meal. But in terms of the quantity, in terms of the size, I would say just giving an example. First of all, I hate to make comparisons, but I'm just doing this so that it gives you context. If you order a burrito, let's say in chilies, right? For the 400 rupees that you pay, you get almost the similar size or maybe slightly bigger burrito. So it is that price to value ratio that I believe that it has fallen short of when it comes to a custom order. All right, this is a custom order. Please keep that in mind. I keep this, um, uh, you know, I mean, keep saying this over and over again because they generally do not cater to these one meals, right? I mean, they serve portions which are good enough for three people. Um, so maybe that's one of the reasons as to why the quantity fell short of a heavy eater's expectation. But for a light eater, it should be good enough. So overall, would we recommend this place? We absolutely will. In terms of the um, uh, taste, it does not disappoint at all. And that is what is most important. All right. The number one factor when you're trying out food. So in terms of the deliciousness factor, it definitely satisfied. Uh, satisfies you know our expectations in fact I would be interested to find out if they can make chocolate filled donuts that's what I'm gonna ask them the next time around because I would love to try out some chocolate filled donuts the next time around by the way their donuts were absolutely delicious highly recommend those donuts do try them out now with that said we come to the end of this video um, let me know you know in case you do get to try out browns with love after you have watched this video do let me know what your thoughts are. 
what your comments are because after posting every single video i in fact look forward to your comments i keep checking you know if one of you has posted any comment or not because your comments your suggestions that's what keep this uh, keeps this channel going and growing so i look forward to your suggestions and your comments after every video of mine so please keep them coming and um, if you've liked this video please do not forget to hit that like and that subscribe button and also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos now that's a wrap for this one folks thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this one until we meet again in the next one this is me signing off take care stay safe and may god bless you all